Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Rebecca, AKA Vegan Bodega Cat. And if you're not new here, then you know the drill. It's time for me to review all the new vegan foods that I got to eat in January. And if you are new here, you now know the drill because I just explained it. Every month I just shoot clips of all the cool new foods I get to eat and then I compile them into this. So y'all know, you know, what you should buy and what you shouldn't waste your money on. This month is interesting because I got a box from Japan. It has so many cool things in it. I'm really excited to show you, but otherwise, pretty normal. I got to try a new protein powder from Venus Williams um, and some other random stuff. So I hope you enjoy. Not much else to say, then here you go. Wow, I look, uh, whatever. Anyway, so we're trying these, I cannot pronounce it for shit. Oh, babe! When you have a second, come here. So Roberto knows how to speak more Spanish than me, but chicha corn. Chicharon de maez de locos. Crazy chicha corn from corn. Ch crazy chicharon from corn. I don't know. Uh, barbecue flavor. Can you read this? Chicha corn. <laughs> chicha corn. Chicha corn. It's chicharon de maez de locos. Jokos? Barbecue? Maybe it means barbecue? Okay, good. It doesn't taste like chicharron. It's not even the texture of chicharron. It's the texture of like hard corn crumbles. It's not, oopsies, it's not even soft. It's not like puffy soft. It's like crunchy hard. Oh, but it's very good. I what? like it. What is it, corn pop? Corn pops? That is. Corn pop? They're a little like crunchier. Than a corn yeah. pop. Corn pop corn pops are like harder. Yeah, yeah. Sure. These are more like, like a little puffed. Like in the middle of a puff and a corn. And the flavor is really good. The texture is very interesting. Would eat again. Here, I want to give you a better view of the texture without them falling out. See those? There you go. The verdict is yum. We'll eat. Toodles. Hey, I got a package. I'm super excited because I haven't gotten a package like this before. It's from Japan. It has really, really cute packaging and stuff. Um, and so I just wanted to unbox it with you guys first. Thank you so much to the person who sent me this. I'm so pumped. I, I thought you were just gonna send like two ramens or something, but no, like it's a whole box full of different things and like things I've literally never tried before ever. So I'm really pumped. Um, I'm talking fast because the sun is going down and I want to record in the last few minutes of sunlight I have today. Oh, I just got back from work. That's why it's dark. Anyway, let's, let's do a little unboxing. Oopsies. Okay. So we're going to start out with these. I have no idea what this is. I can't read anything. Um, there's a little note on it. It says, peanut crackers. So I'm going to leave this note on here for when I actually open them. But can we just talk about how cute, how cute is this? There's another one too. It says cherry, cherry, no, not cherry, curry flavored crackers. Okay. All right. We also have these, which maybe I'll try one of these. I'll try one of these on, on this clip. Um, but we have these, which are nori wrapped beans and nuts. This one says cookies, orange, baldinish, organic, not orange. I was trying to read it backwards. Never mind. Um, we do have vegetable curry, which I've never tried this brand before, but I think I've had something similar to this before. It says vegan curry packet, warm in boiling water for five to seven minutes, best eaten with sticky rice. Exciting. We have two ramens. Um, one is hot and sour noodle soup. One is tan tan noodle soup. Oh, not ramen, noodle soup. But we have these. These are like um, mochi cakes, but you have to cook them. It, this one looks so good. I love mochi anything, so I'm excited for this. Oop, thank you. Thank you so much. Like, I'm more excited than usual because I've never tried any of these and I get pumped when I try like new stuff. Anyway, some vegetable stock here that I could try. A, a boxed noodle soup, like noodles and seasonings. I, this looks, wait, let me see if this opens easily. Ooh, two servings. I'm excited. Okay, I've never had like instant noodles like this before. I've only ever had instant noodles like this. Another kind of uh, instant noodle type thing. This one looks like this. 
Doo -doo. And they put instructions on it for me. I've never seen ramen come in a big like cardboard box before. I'm really, I'm gonna open this. I got more presents today than I did on Christmas. Oh, it's like a multi-set. I can't show you really easily. See, it's like it has a bunch of noodles and like four different sauce packets. So I guess you can like make a bunch like I can make for Roberto and I both in the same meal. Um, but that's everything. Thank you so much. This is the most unique package I've ever gotten. Um, I want to try one of these. Green is wasabi soybean. So it's like, it comes in like a nori, nori sheet. And then you see a little soybean on the end of it. I think it's a soybean. Um, I like that. It's so crunchy. Mmm. Listen, listen to the crunch. Coolest package. Thank you so much. Thank you. Hey guys, let's try Three Wishes Cocoa Cereal. Now, I did try like the Cheerio version of this, the honey flavor, um, and it's pretty good. I like Three Wishes. Just because it has like more protein, it doesn't give me a stomach ache. Sugary cereal gives me a stomach ache. Um, but I've never tried this flavor. So I figured let's try it together. Boom. Tastes like healthy cocoa puffs. Slight artificial sweetener aftertaste, but not as bad as some other low sugar cereals. And each serving has eight grams of protein. That's two servings. 16 grams of protein in that one bowl. That's really good. The ingredients are chickpeas, tapioca, pea protein, cane sugar, cocoa, natural flavor, salt, monk fruit. No wheat, no corn, no rice, no dairy, no oats, peanut free, vegan, soy free, certified gluten free, and kosher. Fantastic. If regular cereal gives you a stomach ache or you're gluten free or whatever, I'd say give it a try. It's pretty good. Hello, so I feel poopy. And you know what's great when you feel poopy? is to buy fried type things. I mean, you make them in the oven, but they taste fried, you know what I mean? So I got these vegetizers, vegan chicken and cheese taquito bites from Morningstar Farms. I popped them in the oven and I made them and we're gonna check them out together. They look like this, very small, cute, chicken-esque. It's very hot because I took it out of the oven mere moments ago. Chicken nugget tex texture on the inside. I think it's kind of like a cylindrical nugget with bits of cheese in it. A little strange, honestly. Tastes like fajitas. It's all right. I wouldn't get it again. I'd rather eat a, a regular nugget, you know? The texture is fun. It's just very much like it tastes like fajitas. It tastes like the peppers and onions you eat at Chipotle. Yeah, it's all right. What up, babes? We're gonna do a taste test that includes some cooking. We're gonna try these. I don't know what the brand name is or anything, but the person who gave it to me did give me a note. The note says, sweet bean mochi cakes. Fry on an oiled pan until the sides are golden brown. You know what it looks a lot like? Like I know this is like mochi or whatever with sesame, but doesn't this look like uh, dragon fruit? Doesn't this look like dragon fruit? Like a slice of dragon fruit? Oh no, I think I... Uh, oh, it's soft under now. Oh my God. Oh, I need to flip this. I really, oh, that's, I think that's a little overdone. Uh, yeah, I don't think it's burnt. I just think, especially that one's a little overdone. My bad. So the little mochi cake was like hard. And now it's like, like I knew it would turn soft, but it's like soft. <laughs> I don't know if you come from a culture that like cooks like hard cheese. Every culture we have this like harder cheese that we can cook and then it gets a crust on like the sides and then it's like squishy in the middle. Like that's a texture this is giving me right now. Oh my God, it's like, did I overdo it? It's like. It's, it's so squishy in the middle. Oh, it's so good. Mmm. 
this black isn't burnt like this black is like the paste inside oh yeah it's hot it's so good someone tell me what the name of this brand is and where i can find it because i want to eat that again taste test cookies from japan um okay so i'm a little confused because it says made in japan but uh the name is organic bull de uh and that doesn't sound japanese also this brand last something doesn't sound japanese but it was sent to me from Japan, and I'm excited. That's all I'm at. Oh, they're so much smaller than I thought. They look so cute. Are these Mexican wedding cookies? Like, I know they're not Mexican wedding cookies, but they're giving me Mexican wedding wedding cookie. It's, mm, it's almost. Oh, that's so good. It's Mexican wedding cookie. Small. And like a little more nutty. It's like 90% Mexican wedding cookie. But somehow like better because it's mini. Look, like all that powdered sugar and then like it's like nutty cookie on the inside. Mmm, so good, so good. Thank you. Hey y'all, we're gonna try some soup that I've never tried before. Upton's chicken noodle soup. I like the shape of these noodles. That was the main reason I bought it when I saw it on the shelf. And it looked yummy. So I'm gonna microwave it and we're gonna give it a try. Be back in a sec. Okay, we're back. And here's our sopa. You know, looks looks fine. Looks like chicken noodle soup. The little chicken chunks look very much like seitan. I don't like cooked carrots and there are large chunks of carrots in here, but that's normal in a chicken soup, so I don't really fault it for that, you know? The noodles look just as delightful as they do on the outside of the can, so we're gonna go ahead and give it a try. Mm. Texture of that chicken is strange. It doesn't even really have the texture of seitan either. But it's not bad. I don't think it tastes like chicken noodle soup. But I like it at the same time. It's growing on me. And I really am not a canned soup person. I don't really enjoy canned soups. I would get this again. I would. It's not like mind blowing, but it's decent. It's solid. It's so much better than when the those Gardein soups came out. I'm trying to see if I remember the price. I think it was like $4, so, or $3. So like not that cheap, but like, hmm. For a quick meal, not bad. I'd have it with like some toast or something. How much protein is in this? 10 grams, eh, that's an okay amount. It's 210 calories, that's an okay amount of protein. But it would need like more food to be a meal. Like this and some bread or something. Or a side salad. Pretty good, I approve. I just realized I didn't really explain the flavor. It's just, it just feels like comforting. It just has a comforting flavor. A little too like sausagey to be chicken, but it's not a very strong flavor. So it's still like good, even though it's a slightly sausagey tasting chicken noodle soup. Like I like it, I'm down, I'll get it again. I'm trying on, I don't wanna say it's like a ramen, but it's like a noodley soup. It's currently boiling in the microwave, uh, but I wanna show you the packets that came with it. Uh, one just says soup base, right? So I'm assuming this goes in after the noodles boil and then the other one vegan noodle topping wait a minute the instruction said add dry ingredients this might count as a dry ingredient maybe this should be in there while it's boiling I think this is veggies I'm gonna add this to the microwave I'll get back when it's all done I'll figure it out I promise listen I microwaved it for the appropriate amount of time and and I'll just show you uh, oh my god I'm just gonna put this down ah no no So I saw liquid on the microwave plate and I assumed this boiled over, but no, the the bottom like broke. The bottom like, you see that? Like it just leaked all out the bottom. There's no more liquid inside the thing and I'm not quite sure what I could have done wrong. I, I followed the instructions. Upon further analysis, it, it busted open. I don't even know how. Did it bust open like that? It says, dry ingredients, hot water, four minutes, liquid soup. Okay, so that's a huge mess I have to clean, but I took the noodles 
I took the noodles and put them in a regular bowl so we can continue this taste test. There's like no water in it, so I'm just gonna add a little bit more liquid and the soup base and then come back to you. What could have gone wrong? <sighs> I just realized I have to fish out the container from the trash to like show you the flavor. I forgot what flavor this is supposed to be. Tan Tan Noodle Soup. This is supposed to be Tan Tan Noodle Soup. I look like Poo Poo McGee. I can't be bothered to look cute right now. Why am I not in focus? There we go. Okay. Um, this is how the noodles look. The sauce was like thick and brown, but like now that it's like fully incorporated in as a base, it's like a very light colored soup base. And it doesn't smell like much, honestly, so. got smacked the soup base in the eye. I think I'm not wearing any makeup. I just got soup base in my eye. It stings. This could not go more wrong. It's delicious though. It's so good. Oh! Oh, it burns. <laughs> sometimes I feel like I deserve a bigger platform and sometimes I wonder how I have the platform that I do. Today is one of the latter days. Oh, it burns. Good. Would get again, but would microwave in a different container. It might be safe to say that I've tried a, like hundreds of things on this channel at this point, right? Hundreds. So now I can't remember for the life of me whether I've tried this Blackbird's pepperoni pizza or not. I have definitely had Blackbird's foods pizza, but have I had the pepperoni? I don't know. So we're just gonna have the pepperoni again. Who I mean, who would be mad at an updated review? Not me. So, we're gonna take a look at it frozen. The thing I like about Blackbird Foods already, like, from their other pizzas, is that the dough is always so thick and fluffy. And it looks the same with this one. So let's look at it frozen. It looks very frozen. Doesn't look like much frozen. But there is a very even amount of pepperonis, which is nice. And then we're gonna make it, and then we're gonna look at it cooked. Look at that! Look how even those pepperonis are! So nice! This way each slice gets pepperoni. The instructions say... Eight minutes? Psh, that's so fast! I'll see you in eight minutes! Alright, so the pizza looks good. Uh, I think those are little garlics in there. And the cheese they use is Violife. Now, the instructions said to cook at 500, but I low-key like burnt it a little but like this was 500 for eight minutes i think i should not have put it on 500 i should have done 400 for the next pizzas i'll do 400 um because this is what happens when i did five i don't know i don't look I, proof 500 for eight minutes she said burnt it a little though it no she said burnt it a little <laughs> it's not it's just a ring I could probably scrape that off. It's not that it's not like thickly burnt. Yeah, I guess it's a thin layer of burnt Put it back down so I can cut it. It smells pretty good. Uh, I this part is not too burnt. I feel like it's not that burnt That's really they do a good job that pepperoni tastes mad pepperoni the texture is a little like floppier than pepperoni But the flavor is so there the cheese it is so melty Good job that is really good. I'm gonna take a bite of the crust. Mmm. It's fluffy and crunchy. So good. Did a really, really good job. Yummy. Wait, I just had a bite of garlic, like a garlic chunk. That's delicious. Like the garlic is sweet. Like when you like cook a garlic and it's like not so spicy anymore. Mmm. Hey, what's up? I'm trying something that I don't really try on here very often, and that is a protein shake flavor. So I've had the like little pre-made shakes in the little bottles from Happy Viking before, and they're my favorite, this chocolate flavor. Um, and when they came out a year and change ago, I said something about I can't wait until there's a powdered version, and here it is, it exists. There's a bunch of different flavors, chocolate, strawberry, vanilla, and like, some fruity one, like pina colada, I don't know. Uh, and I made it here. I literally just put the milk and unsweetened almond milk 
and the recommended amount of protein powder into here. I didn't use a blender ball or anything or a blender, so it might be a little chunky, but I want to do a minimal amount of dishes, so we're going to taste test it right now. Yep, that is chunky. That's not their fault. I literally did a really shitty job of mixing it. Now, while I didn't do a good job of mixing it, it's not grainy. Yes, there's a few clumps. But even the clumps are creamy. I don't know how that makes sense. Okay, I taste the protein aftertaste a little bit. But that's not bad. I really like this. 20 grams of protein, pea protein and brown rice, soy free, Vegan, non-GMO, plant-based, no dairy, gluten-free, wow. I also got a strawberry one that I might try in this video or next month's, I'm not sure yet. I like it, that's all, bye. That's all I have for today. Let me know what you think of my ratings. Do you agree, do you disagree? And is there anything that I should be on the lookout for for next month's video? Like if you like, subscribe if you wanna subscribe. If you wanna follow me on Instagram where I post every single day, I'll put my Instagram right here. My TikTok is also the same. That's all I have for today. I will talk to you next time. Goodbye! Shout out to all my patrons, but especially my bodega bosses and my OG bodega babes. Jessica, Christina, Lucia, Alex Creates, Ellen, Michelle, Laura, Kaylin, Marielle, Alex, Planet Earth, Jenny, Gemini, Janine, Curtis, Stacy, Michelle, Eduardo, Chloe, Abigail, Dana, Vanessa, Nakia, Matt, Mariana, LT, Andrew, McKenna, Shanta, Adrian, and Susan. You guys are the absolute best, and these videos are made possible with your support. If you want to support me non-monetarily, then just subscribe and stick around to watch another video. It shows YouTube that you like my content. I also have a TikTok and an Instagram if you want to check me out there and merch always down in the description see ya